traveling to Japan through the power of Japanese snacks. First up, we have Tohato Caramel Corn. Whoa. It looks like a Cheeto, but it smells like caramel. Really? Yeah. Oh! What? Whoa. Caramel popcorn. No, yeah. No, but in the form of a Cheeto. Yeah. They took a caramel popcorn, they deconstructed it at, at a molecular level, and then repurposed it back as a Cheeto. It's so good. Or they just cooked it a different way. Yeah, that's probably it. <laughs> Yeah. One, two, three, ten. seven out of ten. What? Next up we have. <sighs> got it. I got it. I got it. No, no, no. Keep it just like that, please. Like... Pachi Pachi Panic, a mouth invigorating mix of Japanese ramune candy pieces and popping candy. I'm concerned why it says panic in the name of the candy. Oh! It's like not quite pop rocks. They're like, like little pebbles. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, oh, oh my god. They're pop rock. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> 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 I'm panicking. Everybody panics. Okay, they're good. Seven out of ten. No, yeah, that's eight out of ten. This is great. Next up, we have a Umai Bow. Umai Bow? Umai Bow? Umai Bow. I don't know. Listen to these flavors. I got salted beef tongue, <laughs> sugar rusk. Did I hear beef tongue as a flavor? No, 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 no. Salted beef tongue. I'll take the I'll take the the teriyaki burger. Touch tips. Uh, touch tips. Okay. Mmm. <laughs> oh, it's so fluffy. You want to switch? Yeah. So I'm gonna try that. All right. All right. Mm. Oh, this one's much better. We have one more to split. What flavor is this? Robot dog on a scooter. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, I think I got the beef tongue. I think it's a beef tongue. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Oh. Wow. The taste won't leave. So you give it, well, we just give it like a six? Six yeah. out of 10. Six out of 10, okay. For a snack. Yeah. A good, I wasn't blown away, but I also didn't hate them. The beef tongue. That's a pass. Our next snack is a mini bottle of powdered ramune. Oh, wait, that's a good say, right? Mini bottle. No, it's like a Japanese soda. Ooh. It's <laughs> oh. a straight up little bottle. Oh. Chug, 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 chug. Oh, wow. Is it that good? Is it good? What, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm not gonna say anything. What the hell? <laughs> It went from powder to instant liquid. Instant, yeah, it melts. Like, I feel like I'm getting a big mouthful, but then I look back and I've only gotten like this much. It's just a little bottle of powder that turns into liquid. I'm gonna give this a nine. Yeah, same. Sam, tell the lovely people what's next. Mangetsu pan. Pan. Mangetsu pan. It's a sweet and spicy soy sauce flavored rice cracker. What? I have my concerns. I have my concerns with this. Okay. I only eat soy sauce with sushi. Oh, that wasn't a good <laughs> Three, two, one. Oh, I've had this before. And soy sauce. I actually grew up with a very similar snack, but it's Chinese. That is so much soy. Mm. Six out of 10. Same. Next up, we have six bottles of Japanese Ramune soda. What is this? Okay, let me show you. This is not a traditional lid. There's a marble in the center of the lid. And the whole point of the soda is that you need to pop the marble down. I have to exert effort to drink? You have to exert effort. Just like this. Dang it. <laughs> let, me, let me try again. Okay, I'm doing something wrong, hold on. Expert over here. What's happening? Am I supposed to push down? What's happening? Oh! Look at my hand! Look at my hand! Oh! Dude, I just broke mine. Oh! That's how you're supposed to do it! You fix it! I you, fixed it by breaking it? You accidentally made it work by breaking it! I got my little plunger. Okay. Oh, there it is. Okay. Oh! Oh, that was so cool! Watermelon and blueberry. Here we go. My first time ever. Mmm. Interesting. That's fresh. This tastes like I'm drinking a blueberry slushy from 7-Eleven. It's so carbonated. It must be the marble. You gotta try more flavors? Okay, well, I'm, I'm gonna Oh try. yeah, I'm a pro. Oh! 
Mmm. Okay, so they all vaguely taste kind of the same, just with hints of different flavors. Try the grape one. The thing with grape drinks in Asia is it has a different texture. What did he say? Hey. Oh. Uh, it tastes what, more like a real grape. Uh. Mm -mm. Seven out of 10. Sam, are you over 21? I am, yeah. Great, well, it won't matter because next what? is Warugaki Beer. What? I love how this company knows, like, you're not supposed to be drinking this. Oh, wait, fun fact. Warugaki means naughty kid. Oh! So this is called naughty kid beer. It's fizzing like beer. Boom. Warugaki beer. Naughty faces first. I'm so naughty right now. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Mm. It's gonna, oh God. That's a, that's a pass. I'm not sure what it's trying to do. I can't distinguish a flavor. <laughs> no. No? All right, well more for me. I give it like a five. That's a solid one out of 10. That's a. Next. We have Naricho Soft. Mini DIY candy soft serve ice cream set. It came with three baby ice cream cones. And a little spoon. Whoa, oh, it's foaming up. It's turning into like a creamy sort of texture. Wow, okay, so like you get to literally make your own ice cream cone. I'm gonna stack this up. <laughs> I'm gonna make this so big. Uh. Is it good? It tastes so okay. Boop, boop. Oh wow, it's sour. Mm, mm -hmm. Oh wow, from the candy. Oh wow, that is not what I was expecting. It's got a little kick. I would respectfully give it bonus points for creativity, five out of 10. Wow, really? Yeah. I would realistically give the flavor of this like a five and a half. So with the creativity, seven and a half. Next up we have a chimichoco corn stick. Did I say that right? I don't think so at all. Okay, I tried. Star-shaped corn snack soaked with calcium-rich chocolate. Hold on, there's a original impregnation method. I'm about to have that impregnate my mouth. No, 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 Please no, cut no, all no, of this. no, no, no. <laughs> Cheers. Mm. Oh! Wow. I'm pregnant. <laughs> Yo. Cocoa Pebble cereal, but mm -hmm. a bar. It does this thing where it also like just melts in your mouth a little bit. Yeah. You feeling that? We just got impregnated. On the count of three for the snack scale. One, two, three, ten. Nine. Oh, really? Okay, I'll change my answer. I'll change my, I like <laughs> Kurt, you never give ten, so I, I will join good. you. I love, I love cereal, and that tastes exactly like Cocoa Pebbles It somehow tastes cereal. better though. Hey, Kurt, do you have any peanut butter? Because we're about to have a jelly stick. A what? It's a konjac jelly stick. Like I know what that <laughs> is. You said it like I know. Let's see what it tastes oh, like. Open it. I can't. <laughs> I've been trying to this last five minutes. How do we open it? I don't know. You need to bust out the scissors. Do I have to bite it open? Scissors? Watch this jelly explosion. Nice. <laughs> Oh, I don't know how I oh. feel about that whole ex whatever. Just oh. <laughs> it looks like snot. Ew. Oh, oh. I like Dude, the texture. Wait, you a really lot. like? This? I like the texture a lot. I'm not into it. The flavor's pretty okay, but the texture is awesome. That's a one of ten. I'm gonna give it an eight because I actually really appreciate the texture. Next, we have a tiny bag of Conpito. It's a sugar-based candy made repeatedly coating a sugar syrup over a grain. These look awesome though. I really like the taste. Oh, they're chewy. Oh, it is chewy. You know, it tastes like ramen. It tastes like the soda. Mm-hmm. I'm at a four. What? Oh, man. Yeah. Oh, sorry. man, I agree to disagree, but. I'm sorry. I'm giving this a nine. Wow. I'm giving this a nine. This is really good. A Beko Ramoon is the next item that we More have. More Ramoon candy. More Ramoon candy. But I don't think these are as chewy. I'm feeling like a Japanese sweet tarts. That is certainly what it looks like. Let's try it. They're like marshmallow size. I'm gonna pop two. Oh! Whoa! Oh! Whoa! Oh! It's, it's melting! That, that was crazy. What is happening in my mouth right now? So you put this in your mouth, right? 
You, you, what are you, that they don't understand? <laughs> oh, oh, it melted in real time. If cotton candy was a pill, that's what this is. Yeah. Have yeah. another. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, mm. That's so weird. You don't How? have to chew it. This is a nine out of 10 for me. I will also give it a nine. Yeah. This, this is really good. This is one of my favorites so far. Wow. You know what I'm realizing from these candies so far? Mm. Ramune in Japan is basically masala to India. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't think that's the case. No, no. When we did our India snacks video, there was masala in almost everything. Kirker brand, masala munch. Masala lemonade. Cut. Masala, a good old bag of masala munch. Wait, no, the other one was called masala munch too. And there is Ramun in almost all of these snacks. That's true. It is Wait. the Japanese version of masala. Wait, you're so right. Next is a Pandaro cookie. Look at that cute little panda. Panda shaped butter cookie that comes with various facial expressions oh. in one of two flavors, butter, Melon bread. Oh, yeah, it's missing an ear. You broke it? It was, it came broken. You okay? broke the panda? Ah, oh, yeah, it's missing an ear. It's very buttery. Try it, try it. I like a lot. I don't know how you I know, feel about that. Really? It's the mix of the melon and the butter for me that's mm. not hitting. I don't know what you're talking about. This is delicious. I'm gonna give that a four. What? Four out of 10. Oh, no, 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 this is at least a seven for me. Wow. At least a seven. Wow. The next one is mochi taro crackers. Ah, but it's not any mochi taro crackers. They are a pack of okaki flavored crunchy snacks in peanut. It's umami flavored. What is umami? Umami. It's, uh, it's when it's like savory and salty and a little bit sweet. So they're peanuts? Maybe. <laughs> you first. Oh my god, they taste like churros. I don't know how I feel about these. Mm. They remind me of this very traditional Chinese breakfast called yo tiao, which is just like oil bread. You know what this is? Japanese crouton. Mmm. I like that. I like that. Let us know in the comments if you would put this on a salad. I think I would. I'll give it an eight. I was gonna say seven. The next two snacks might look a little familiar. Kit Kats. We didn't get a description for these, so all we're going off of is the picture, which is a wheat cracker and what looks like matcha or a green tea. Bit of a, a transit <laughs> issue with these. I have faith. I have faith in the Kit Kat. Okay, cheers. Wrong? Well, it's a Kit Kat. But I'm not tasting anything that's prominently green or matcha. You wanna switch? Yeah. Oh, that's matcha. That's matcha. And that is wheat. This is Patrick! I think there was an opportunity to make these flavors much more bold mm. for what they are, and it just tasted primarily like Kit Kat. Yeah. A six out of 10. I'd give it a seven. Next is a Kyo Fuaji. Huh? These uniquely Japanese snacks have been around for over 200 years? Oh, that's hard. Oh, crunchy. Oh, there's a reason this has been around for 200 years. Mmm, I like that. Oh, Roasted almost, peanuts. Yeah, it's almost like a breakfast bar, but like, it's not. I'm nine out of 10 on this. Wow. Nine out of 10 on the snack scale for me. I like it, but not as much as some of the other ones. So this this is gonna shock you, all right? Don't, don't hate on me, don't hate on me Careful. for this. I'm gonna give it a six. I'm gonna give it a six. Yeah! And next up, we have these Bisco Biscuits. These are a pack of two mini cream sandwiches. Strawberry and milk cream. I like me a dessert biscuit. Oh! oh okay, cute. I like the packaging. Ice cream sandwiches. Wow, you get one and I get one. This is perfect. Mm. Wow. That's perfect. That Very light. It almost tastes like a, have you had like Pockies? Yeah. Pocky sticks? Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna have to go with a 10. What? I think this is a per I think this is a perfect snack in my opinion. I wouldn't go as far as a 10. I'd la I'm landing somewhere around a six. Really? Only okay. because I wish the cream flavor was stronger. Mm. Just boom, yeah. strawberry cream. Ah, oh, no, that's not it. But yeah. it was like, strawberry cream. It is strawberry cream. <laughs> Sam, do you have any chopsticks? I don't. We might need some for these tiny bowl of rataman noodles. <laughs> There's noodles in this thing? <laughs> teeny tiny bowl of crunchy chicken ramen flavored fried noodles? It's a tiny little bowl of noodles. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's crunchy. These are good. I like them. 
I've definitely had oh. this growing up. Oh, okay. They put these on top of Chinese chicken salads. <laughs> no. You know what I'm talking about? I know what you're talking about, but I don't the think noodles. that's it. The noodles. The noodles. I've definitely grown up eating these. I would like a whole bag of these. Your Tom and noodles on the snack scale for me is an eight out of 10. Seven for me, it's all right. Our last item is a bit of a mystery because it is the lost detective candy. This is the only one that has an English name. Help find the suspect. Each fruity candy starts purple and changes color in your mouth to reveal the guilty or innocent. This How is not- How did I come up with these? This is a board game. This is a game in a candy. I'm excited for this. This is cool. So they're all one color, but only one is a sour lemon and you have to hide whether you have it. You have to detect who has the candy. All right, three right here. Let me take a good look at these. You're not gonna be able to tell. I have my suspicions about this one, all right? There's no way you could tell. All right, three, two. Mm. This is great. Okay, all next, right, here we go. One? Apple, ooh, yum. All right, last one, who's gonna get it? I'm safe. Oh, man! <laughs> wow, that's sour! You, you got it? Whoa, dude, that is so sour! <laughs> it's like a warhead! <laughs> oh, my eyes are watering. Oh my god, this is fun! This is great. This is like something I would definitely get if I was hanging out with a group of friends. Yes, just I might make a TikTok just mm. using that mm -hmm. with a group of friends. For the experience, I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10. For the entire candy flavors, multiple flavors, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. fun, mm -hmm. interactive, 10 out of 10. Ooh. That was fun. Out of all the things we've had today, this is probably the most fun. This was a fun one. Wow, well played, Japan. Woo! Well played. Well, that is about it for all of the Japanese snacks we tried today. Make sure to thumbs up the video and subscribe and leave a comment and let us know which country snacks we should try next. And we'll see you in the next country. Don't you mean video? Yes. <laughs>